So you should just know, so this film is traveling. This is only the second city, although it's opening in Phoenix today as well. In San Francisco, we're doing 13 cities in total. So we go around the country, um, and then CNN airs the whole thing. And before CNN airs it, which is great, I don't think America has yet heard Tagalog this much. <laughs> CNN was like, what? Yeah, so I'm really, really proud of that. Um, but, but before we do this, we're actually planning an event, hopefully, with, oh God, Lara. Is Lara here? I think so. Uh, with Psychology Today. Um, nice. Yeah. Because I really want to put mental health kind of front and center. And I feel like, look, I'm a pretty thoughtful person. I, I, I had two other ideas for this film. Like, again, this is not the film that I really wanted to make. I was going to make a much more intellectual economic film, like make arguments about the billions of dollars that undocumented young people could contribute and all of that stuff. But then after I've done 200 events in 40, three states in two and a half years. And what, I, it, what it really taught me is that uh, we learn a lot by feeling, mm -hmm. and that people have a very visceral reaction to this, and the only way I could really reach them if I give them something visceral and emotional. Because um, it gets people really disoriented. We had a screening at Miami University where Paul Ryan went to college, in Speaker Bader's district, in front of about 300 college students two weeks ago. And the reaction to that, <laughs> That's when I know that I made the right film. Because afterwards, they're just, they just feel really disarmed and really disoriented. Well, I, I think that your film has two extraordinarily important audiences. One, God, can they be critics? You guys are giving me such good criticism, but thank you. <laughs> Besides critics, one is, are the sort of average American you know, who doesn't get this yeah. issue, has never thought about this issue, who's just sort of, you know, gone wifely through Your drinking buddy in Alabama. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I never use them. Yes. Yeah. That, that's, yeah. So, and that's a very important audience. And you're building empathy and getting people to be, oh, damn. Empathy. Or least, or some empathy. Empathy. Empathy, right? You know, so you're never going to get, the, you are, the, the, you're preaching to the converted, you are the converted, you know, people like yeah. some of us in the room already get it. Then there are the people you're never going to move over. But there are a lot of people in the middle who've just not thought about it. And you can move a lot of those over. And then the other important audience, and I think this is really important, there are you know, 1.5 1. million uh, people under the age of 18 who are, un who have, uh, who are undocumented. There's another 4.5 million who, are, who have family members who are yes, undocumented. Yes, mixed status. Growing yeah. up in the shed, who are mixed status family. Yeah. You are you know, helping the, the young folk who are in that situation realize you're not alone. You know, you are not alone. You're, you know, by coming out and telling your story, you are letting. Well, I have to be honest with you. Like, I, mean, I'm, so I feel, I feel a, a certain kind of guilt, and it occurred to me the other day. Yes, there's, oh gosh, yeah, the, doc, the therapist saw that to me. But yeah, so, but I mean, this feeling that, this feeling that, you know, you see that one Skype scene. Can you imagine how many other scenes like that are happening all across America? Yeah, sorry, you had me sobbing the whole time. Sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm so sorry. Um, no, yeah, like a, but yeah, so I like, but, but to me, I mean, this is for me the power of movies, like yeah. sitting in a theater like this. Most people here probably either follow this issue or know about it, right? But it's really important to preach beyond the choir. It's, that's why for us, CNN was the right place yeah. um, to try to figure out how we can get people who are like, just have no idea. You know, I mean, and a lot of this is you can actually squarely put on the lap of the American press, right? The fact that people don't even understand this issue. Like, they can ask questions like, why don't you just make yourself legal? Because I don't know, I'm a masochist. This is so much fun. Like, yeah, so that.